Hey. We're recording. I'm aware. Yeah, just it flashed on my screen. It said avoid legals, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Tell people you're recording. <laughs> we're recording. I'm recording that we're recording. I'm telling you that we're recording. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Show in five, four, three, two, one. Coming to you from the dark recesses of the proverbial da forge pouch. This is episode two, four, five of the Shattered Soulstone PTR soon. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download. At bit.ly slash soulstone books 2020. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, your MP3 player, or your real bad phone. Today is January 12, 2020. I am your main man, Dad Greed. And like always, I brought like my second favorite type person coming to you. From a really weird green screen and a record hat, it's Shazam. What's going on? <laughs> I was going to say really small green screen, but then I was like, you might yeah. take that wrong. And I was like, uh, really weird? Uh, anyway, what's up, brother? Not much. Just... <sighs> <sighs> yeah. What a week, bro. I've realized on um, Saturday night, last night, I was um, I was busy doing my secret project, and at twelve thirty at night, I'm like, "Oh shit! I didn't pay my credit card bill. It was due at midnight. Shit!" <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Got that accrued interest, huh? It's yes. <clears throat> like ah. Uh, like I knew, I knew it too. I'm like, I'm gonna forget to pay this. I know it, so I'm gonna forget to pay it. And I did. It's ridiculous. You know what my wife does? She tapes bills to the monitor of my computer, and then I come in and go, "What the fuck?" And I tear them down and throw them over there. And then I go, <laughs> and she goes, "Hey, how come you didn't do that?" I'll be like, "Oh, it's over here. Uh, dang it." <laughs> That's not a solution. I, I don't know. Anyway. Oh. Tape them to your monitor. I got tape them to my TV. <laughs> well, I call it my... It's not, it's not, it's not a monitor. It's a you know what I mean. Yeah. Whew. What'd you do? Weeks of gaming, bro. I started off the week doing the usual fantasy star. Because... <laughs> I got it. I don't know how, like, I don't know what's going to happen when Fantasy Star Online 2 comes out. And I have my Xbox down here. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. But, um, I don't know. Because there's a whole bunch of games coming out fairly soon. We got Fantasy Star Online 2 that, like, I'm super hyped for. And then you got, like, Wolfson, which I'm, I'm not hyped, like, super hyped because I, you know... Just another ARPG to play, but it'll be fun for a while. Um, I think, I think in April, I think that's what they said. Minecraft's ARPG comes out. Mm. So that's that's another ARPG we're gonna play. Everybody likes Minecraft, so I'm sure you played Minecraft. I have it. Like, I mess with it a little bit, but it always goes to the exact same thing. I always end up grabbing all these resources and then going, bah. <laughs> but, yeah, Fantasy Star beginning of the week. And then, um, this morning, I was like, I want to play Diablo again. 
but I don't want to play like my characters that I have. I basically, want a new season without a new season. <laughs> And I, I've been I've been screwing on hardcore for I don't know like a week or so now. Like I would log on for a little bit, get a couple levels, and log off and not touch it for a couple of days. Log on, get a couple of levels, log off. And I did, I've been doing that for like a couple of weeks now. But today I sat down and committed myself, and I got the seventy. And then, you know, I started gearing up my character. I'm a Legacy of Dreams gem, they're like 20-something. Then I got a couple close scares, which I thought I was doing. I thought I was doing greater rifts that were T6, but here they were T5. And I went and did a regular rift T6. And then, like, the, the Rift Guardian or whatever, like, procs you and like you run away and you're like well it's it's either it's either him gonna die or i'm gonna die so um i had two close scares like that today which the rift guardian ended up dying not me if i, if I knew i was gonna kick the bucket i probably would have i probably would have went back to town and stayed there but i don't know i i, I think i did a t30 right now and that's Literally, a couple hours in the in the seventy, and um, not t thirty. Um, hopefully, maybe before bed tonight, I'll hook up the Greater Rift um, forty, somewhere around there. It's very. I just need gear right now. I'm, I got super lucky. Um. When I did the um, the challenge riff last week, I upgraded a, a, a mace, I mean a flail, and the um, only chance I had, and it was a Grafalcon's foot, I can't get much luckier than that, um, and literally from level 20 up, I was blessed shielding everybody. So I need to get the other. I need to get the two-handed flail. I need to get the the shield. And I need to get the bracers. Yet I did get an ancient cinder coat, but it only rolled with one socket. So um, yeah, other than that, it's just basically gear at this point and and um, paragon levels. But I will have my. My 70 done here in the next couple of days. I'm not in a big hurry. And um, I don't want to die <coughs> from stupid stuff. Um, but other than that, um, that's basically it um, on the gaming side portion. But yeah, that's it. Man, this week I almost really didn't play games. I I played uh, a few games of Diablo. I'm like eleven forty, really, uh, around that area. Uh, still need two more augments. So, uh, three, two or three, I think. Three, I think. But I I got one that's um, like one oh five already or one oh three or something like that. I need to do a couple more levels because I'm doing like one oh fives or maybe a little higher. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'll get that sometime, I, uh, Wednesday, um, Wednesday I had a deal, and I'll talk about it here in a minute, but, um, but other, other than games, um, it, I don't know, I just, I've been in like this weird mood, it's like. I get home and I end up sitting in my chair and like literally doing nothing. I don't know. I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. It's like normally I get home and I I'm super jammed up to play or whatever. Like, I mean, I guess like you know, no, no, nobody's on Discord right now really that much, or at least they're yeah. not when I'm around. And it's just like whatever, right? Like, and then. 
I don't know. I got. I kind of got into some some Donna Man. I'm freaking murdering that. It is. It, it's fun. Um, I got a. I got a pretty nice sized town so far, and I'm progressing through the through the. Uh, through the technologies and. Uh, yeah, just messing around. Uh, it's. It's um. I really been trying to, I, I really been trying to to play it with, um, instead of clicking on each person and tell them like exactly what to do. I've really been trying to to do these work orders because it's like an automation thing. Like you set everything up and then they kind of do all the stuff. Sometimes it's frustrating because like you want, like your barley to be planted and it can only be planted in the spring or whatever you know what i mean and then you set it up and then nobody goes over there and work because they're busy doing other stuff and you're like like that's not, that, now you gotta wait a whole nother year to get <laughs> to get barley production back it's like ah, dang it so every now and then i'll grab a couple people and be like go do that because like you know something important like that you can you know, like if it's hunting or something, like you can hunt any time. So, and um, before I would, I'd have like three people fishing at all times. Because uh, it doesn't seem like four, if you put four or more people, it doesn't seem like they actually do more. It just seems like they pull the fish out of the water faster and you run out of fish and then you got to wait until the fish come back. So it doesn't seem to be any better. So before what I was doing is I'd have one work area set up and I'd have three people and they'd run the fish out of there and then I'd move them over to the next place and they'd run the fish out of there. Then I'd move them over to the third place and, and then they'd run the fish out of there. And then by that time, the first place would have fish, so I'd move them back. And um, I just had this idea that like if three people are fishing these places dry, like why not just set up three spots? So I got one person in each spot. They've been fishing continuously. I've gotten way. I I I just have way more fish because you don't have any lag time of when the fish are down. It's like it's just way. It's yeah. just way smarter, I guess, just to set it up that way. And um, I I even got walls now, which was handy because I got attacked right after I put my walls up. It reminded me of like, like the day after I put an alarm system in this house, like after we built it, because we built the house and then we had an alarm company come and put it in, and then like the day after the dude tried to break in, and I was like super suspicious. I was like, wait a minute, bro, I just got an alarm yesterday. Then dude gonna try to break in today, like, <laughs> like bad timing for that dude. He didn't go to jail uh, because. Um, the cop that came put him in the front seat, no handcuffs. Like, I, why would you do that? And then he came and was bugging the shit out of me about my stupid permit, about a gun permit. And I had just moved. There was box. We had we had shit in boxes. Every, I mean, you know how it is when you move. What do you need a gun permit for? You're at your house. Um, it's not, well, for that type of firearm, you need a permit. Did you pull out a fully automatic rifle? It's not a rifle. You need a permit. I don't know. We're allowed semi-automatic guns around here. We're allowed any kind of handgun. Well, it's, it's fully automatic. It's just. Oh, then, yeah. Yeah, it's fully. It's this. It's not. Anyway, I didn't want to make this about a thing, <laughs> but yeah, he was. And then you know, I got a long. I got a really long magazine, so he was tripping about that. How many does that hold? Who's counting? I just fill it up. I mean, I know how many it holds, but. And then uh, he literally came back like after I finally found my stuff and. and he looked at all of it and called it in and made sure it was legitimate, which was dumb. Had the seals on it and everything. So then he comes back and he's like, did you see which way that guy went? 
I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And then two days later, um, I pulled my Chevelle out of the garage and I took it around the block. And um, at the time, I was having some problems and I didn't know what the it was like. It was like it, it was like it wouldn't stay idling. Like if you let up off the gas, it would die. And I was having to like get on the gas a lot to like keep it running. I, it, I don't know what I don't exactly. I think it was like an injector problem or something. I don't even remember. It's been that long ago. I don't remember what was wrong with it. But anyway, I had a problem with my car, and uh, I had my foot on the brake and the gas. And well, you know what happens in a in a 454. I mean, you know, it's a big ass engine, and um, that jackass pulled me over and was like. And he walked up to my car, and he was like, is this car for sale? And I was like, what'd you pull me over for? He's like, well, I was wondering if this car was for sale. And I was like, Rudy, you can't just pull me over because you want to know if my car's for sale. He was like, well, you, your car's really loud. And I was like, yeah, I'm trying to keep it running. Anyway, I was like, hey, did you catch that guy? He's like, what guy? I was like, are you even looking? And he's like, huh? I was like, the dude that you let go from my house, broke in my house like two days ago? Same stupid cop. He didn't even remember what I was talking about. Like, I don't know how you forget two days ago you came to my house and freaking bugged me about a stupid ass permit. And then, of course, as soon as I said that, he was like, are you carrying? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you got a permit? And I was like, yes. So then we had to go through that stupid shit. I don't know how I got onto that. Sorry. I don't know. Where to... I'm off the rails, bro. I hate stupidity. So anyway, back to gate weeks and gaming, I guess, right? I don't know. I, I, the, the moral of the story is I really didn't play that much. And I played some Donna Man, and it's, it's fun. I've been... Um... Oh, yeah, I've just been... I just been, I don't know, just been chilling. Uh, Wednesday, uh, we have a new comedy club. And for years, I've been wanting to get up on stage and, and, and you know, and, and go for it. Like, you know, just like open mic, nothing, you, you know what I mean? Like, you get like three to five minutes, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing, it's not like I'm going to record a special or anything, you know what I mean? I just want to. It's like a fun thing. It's just something I've always wanted to do. And um, we got one really crappy-ass comedy club in town. And um, I don't know, years ago, I went up there and just checked it out. And it was... The the way it... Like, you go into the comedy club, and it's like this huge bar. And then, like, a very little tiny room where you go for the comedy. It's just, it's a comedy club, but the biggest part of it is the bar. Like, it, it should be the opposite. They make you stand out in the freaking bar for like an hour before they'll seat you. It, it, it's so stupid that, like, they'll, they'll be like, be here at six. And then you stand in the freaking bar area for an hour, and then they put you into the, then they seat you, and then the first comedy, you know, the first comic comes up. I have looked on their site hundreds of times and they never have a comedian I ever heard of. Like, I'll be like, who is that? And I try to get, I try to like talk to their manager dude, the, the booker. And he was just like, he was like, yeah, give me your reel. I was like, bro, I'm a, I, I never got on stage before, so I don't have a reel. And he, his suggestion was drive 12 hours to Houston, Texas do a three-minute spot and have your buddy record it and then drive back 12 hours and then, you know, like, email it to him. Yeah. Yeah, I see myself doing that. <laughs> I guess you don't have to drive. I guess you can fly. Take a $400 plane ride. <laughs> Bro, I work too much for that. Like, who's going to do that? You know what I mean? One time I did go to Houston, like, two years ago and I really did think about it but I was like man if 
fuck that dude. I'm not, like, you know what I mean? Like, for real. But anyway, so the other day, I was just hanging out and I had the news going, like the local news, and they were like, nah, it's Jay Farrow's coming to the to the Bricktown Comedy Club. And I was like, what? Bricktown Comedy Club? What the hell? And I typed in Bricktown Comedy Club and their website came up. Man, they just opened this place. What the hell? So I start looking through. Oh, my God, man. They got people. Dude, they got serious talent coming through. Like Eddie Bravo, Sam Tripoli, um, Brandon Schaub was just here, Jay Farrow, Drew Lynch, like uh, Alonzo Bowden. Like people I actually know. You know, people you that have specials that you could like go watch. Like they have Netflix specials. You know what I mean? It's like real people. Well, I was looking on their thing and they were like, hey, Wednesday nights we have open mic. So I went last Wednesday and uh I'm gonna go I'm gonna go again this Wednesday, man, and I'm gonna start hitting it. I'm gonna start burning the stage up, man. So I've been working on uh I've been been working on my stuff, and I have I have a real real good idea of how I'm gonna structure my first my first set. So I don't know if you want to call that weeks in gaming or not, but that's what I've been doing, brother. <laughs> so so twenty twenty two, maybe a little bit after Diablo four releases, we're gonna have we're gonna either see you on Amazon Prime or Netflix. Oh, bro, that would be, um, I doubt it, because. Because we're definitely not going to see you on Comedy Central, because they don't do that stuff anymore. <laughs> yeah, Comedy Central is not, um, yeah, I, I mean, you know, bro, like, to get from where I'm at to, like, that kind of a thing, there ain't no way. I just want to have fun, man. I, right now, I'm not even thinking about anything like that. I just want to get up there and have fun and just crush it, you know? Just, it's always something I wanted to do. And hell, bro, who knows, man? Who knows what the future has? But I can tell you this. It will be hard for me to give up a, 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 a lifetime pension. So you made, a come, you made a come to Oklahoma with a whole bunch of... Um produce and throw at you that, that's what you want to do bro <laughs> see if you if you were really dedicated to doing this oh, you would guy. you would have had you would uh well couldn't say your kid because he was on the airplane too um you could have had like your neighbor go down with you and then like when you took your wife and son to the airport to send them to Germany, you could have went straight to the comedy club and the video camera and stuff, but Greed wasn't thinking that far into the future, I guess. Bro, to get a spot at the other place, <laughs> the crap, I'm going to call it the crappity comedy club because I'm not going to tell you the name of it. It's a, anyway, to get a spot at the Cravity Comedy Club, first I have to get on a stage and make a tape and then edit it and make a reel out of it. And then he wants fifty bucks if you get if he if he if he picks you, he wants fifty bucks for you to come uh do a show. Like he doesn't pay you fifty bucks. Like he wants fifty bucks from you to get ten minutes on stage. Yeah, I don't really think I'm going to pay 50 bucks to get on that dude's stage. Especially when there's, like, nobody there. They have, like, next to... And they're fixing to die. I guarantee you. This other place, they're going to murder them. It's ridiculous. The talent they got, it's ridiculous. And their ticket prices are virtually the same price. So, they've been having crappy-ass comics who, you know, in, 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 in one day might you know, level up and, and be way better. And and some of the, I've been to a couple of their shows and, and, you know, some of the guys were, were good, but you know, if you're going to shell out 50 bucks to go to a show, 
like it'd be nice to know who the hell the comedian is or one of the because they always do three you know they do an opener middle and a or opener feature and a and a you know and a headliner so if you're gonna put fifty dollars down it'd be nice to know at least one of those people that are on the show so that you could be like oh i'm gonna go see this guy but just to you know 50 bucks and go you don't even know who's it's like the couple of times i've been it was you know one or you know like the middle dude was funny and the last dude wasn't or the last dude was or you know i liked the opener and it was always kind of like mm. i mean those guys are working and they're working on their stuff and you know that's the that's the way you got to you know you got to level up your game but and i get it you know you probably run a bunch of b rooms and that's what that is it's just a b room you know but man you think i'm gonna pay somebody 50 bucks to go in their club like at 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 most you should just be like look we're not paying you just come you're gonna get stage time that's what we're paying you stage time i mean i guess like you could say like if I was going to go over there and pay 50 bucks, I guess you could say it'd be like an investment. Like, oh, I'm going to invest in myself and buy some stage time. But I don't really, you know, if I come over at this other place and and, and I do good and, and they invite me back to, to get a spot or whatever and I do a few spots and then maybe I could work both places uh, but I'm not paying. That's for dang sure. You know, uh, at worst, at the worst thing I would ever take is a free spot where I don't get paid, but at least I get paid in stage time. I'm not paying for stage time. That's just, I don't know, man. That's just the way I feel about it. It's kind of weird. Feels like uh, they just try to rip people off. And the other spot, the crappy spot, you got to buy at least three drinks. You have to be half hammered when you go up there. No, I mean, like even if you go watch the show. Oh. Yeah. And they, you know, like I was, I went one time and I was like, oh, I'm driving my car to want to drink. And they were like, well, you ain't got to drink them. You can just buy them though. It's like, what the fuck? I was like, yeah, uh, you know, yeah, you know, Dr Pepper or something. They're like, yeah, we, we just do alcohol. Like Jesus Christ, bro, y'all. Like, damn. Guess they don't want no recovering alcoholics there. I don't know. It's just like, it just seems like a shady place. And I, I'm really excited about the new place. I went in there. It looks like a comedy club. It feels like a comedy club. It's big as hell. You could probably put 300 people in there. It, it's the stage is nice. They actually got a brick wall, which is, I mean, I don't know. I guess you don't have to have a brick wall for it. It's like a traditional. You can tell the people that run that, like, they. You can tell they got experience at, like, you know, at running a club. And they have drinks. You can get drinks. You can get whatever. They have tea. Although there was a mix up. There was a waitress mix up. And uh, the first drink of my tea, I was like, whoa, this ain't tea. <laughs> so I had to get a second one. Might have been from Long Island. Yeah, it was a Long Island. But. Bro, they got both on their menu. <laughs> anyway, it it just it's one of these things. It's like it's just something I've I've wanted to do for a long time. So, I don't know, we're gonna see what we're gonna see where I take it. I might have a next. I might have a different story next week. I might be like, that was the worst shit ever. <laughs> Never go back. <laughs> Especially in front of everybody I know. Well, that's gonna be. Yeah, that originally happened because there's another dude at work that always talks about getting on stage. We've talked a lot about like the other crappy place, and it's like it sucks because there's nowhere to go. And um, there was a bowling alley that you could do comedy at while people were bowling, which is, I, I, you know, like, <laughs> I mean, I get it that that happens, you know, but like. I don't know. We never went up there, and then now the place is closed down. So, so anyway, this originally happened because 
I was telling him about the new place, and he was like, "What? There's new place? What?" And I was like, "Yeah, man, I went last Wednesday, bro. It's tight. It's nice, man. It's a it's real legitimate. It's a you know, it's not they're not just trying to rip people off. It's a it's a great place, and um, you know, I told him to check it out, and me and him both signed up for Wednesday, and then immediately like a ton of people at work were like, "Whoa, you're going Wednesday? I'm gonna be there. I'll watch you. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come." I'm like, "Oh shit." Okay, well, that screws my plan up of maybe possibly backing out. Because <laughs> I don't want to show up Thursday to work and everybody be like, what's up? Why didn't you come? <laughs> so, I guess it is what it is, bro. You got to lock yourself in, bro, if you're going to do it, right? <laughs> the, the, the best way to ride a roller coaster is get in and put your seatbelt on and put those restraints on. And then it's it's you're in, bro. It's it's on. You know, it's it ain't like... It ain't like you know you're already locked in there, <laughs> so it's you're gonna ride. <laughs> we'll see. I have um, I have a lot of stuff written, so I don't know if it's any good or not. But that is what it is. Oh uh, well, I'm way off the page now. Well, uh, we had a blue note. Uh, you wanna? You want to go over the blue note? I don't see no blue note on my screen. Oh, you're looking weird, huh? Yeah. The PTR soon thing. Yeah, we knew that, though. I I don't understand. Yeah, no, but it's official. I brought that up last week. The same exact blue note that nobody else apparently seen last year. And now everybody's like, oh, there's a PTR soon. Yeah, it's the same post from last week. I can't look at it. I don't know. Well, hey. <laughs> I don't know. They wrote this really weird post where it was like, title, will it come? One, soon. Two, blizzard soon. Three, very, very soon. Then they put that they're going to go with option one soon. Yeah. So PTR soon, yeah, yeah, season 20, I'm excited because, like, we'll find out what the uh, seasonal theme is. I don't know. Um, they've been going in a direction, and I kind of have a feeling that they're going to take a right turn from that uh, for two reasons. One, because, you know, we've been, like, Power creep, power creep, power creep, power creep. And they're going to have to rein us back at some point. And uh, the second one is, like, the last PTR was uh, for 19, and everybody used that in order to cheat. Or not everybody. Some people did. I'm I'm not going to accuse everybody of cheating, but, like, some people really exploited that. And uh, so I don't know if they got a bad taste in their mouth because of that because of the way we use the, the buff to further progression. So I don't know if they'll rein it back in. I don't know. I'm interested, uh, you know, find out what it is, kind of see if we're going to get a pets or a wing or uh, nothing or whatever, right, or a new banner or something, and uh, see what the achievements are. Although I, I don't know why I keep, the seasonal journey thing to me, like, I'm always so excited to do it, although I get nothing out of it, so I don't really... I mean, I guess you get that little portrait frame, right? Yeah. I have so many portrait frames, I don't even... And I only use the same one I always use. Although I did really like the pet from some season 19. So... I do need to finish my season journey before the season ends. You haven't finished yet? No. <laughs> That's hilarious. What do you need? I just need to master a set dungeon, and I need to um, <laughs> um, put um, 40 things in the cube. That's the only thing I need to do. Shit, do that IK, man. That IK uh, barbarian is super easy. I have all the stuff for it. I've been saving yeah. it just in case. Just in case I got lazy and didn't want to level up a um, necro. Um, yeah. Well, I I originally leveled the Necro, but I didn't have the gear, and I had all the IK stuff, and people were in Discord talking about the IK, and I was like, ah, I'll try the IK, why not, right? I have all the IK gear, and 
yeah, I like one shot it. I was like, okay, <laughs> I was like, okay, and I leveled the necro all the way to well, I think somebody power leveled me. Anyway, I had a, a seventy necro all the way up, ready to go. Well, I just needed gear. You got to get the Rathna set. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you want to if you want to get in there and and get a whole set of gear for a character that you're not going to play after that. That's one of the reasons why I was kind of like, eh, you know, just because, like, if you level a Necro, oh, excuse me, ah, I was going to sneeze, sorry, I've been having, my allergies have been real bad, guys, sorry about that. Uh, if you level a, a Necro all the way to 70 and then get in gear, all for the purpose of just doing that set dungeon, then you don't ever touch him after that, it's kind of like, I mean, I get it, like, it's an easy set dungeon, but it's kind of a waste, you know? <coughs> it's a sim- It's similar to a waste anyway, and, like, the IK was easy enough, and I'm, um, I'm really curious on, uh, the two sets that we're gonna get, or the three, two or three, we don't know yet, right? Yeah. So, could be two, could be three. Because at one point, if it's two this time, next time it's definitely got to be three. So people keep saying that. Why can't they have just one season of one? I mean, it would be gay. <laughs> I mean, I guess they could, but I mean, really? You're going to hold one character all the way to the end? Like, that's just that's just wrong, bro. I don't know. I guess and they could. And imagine You're right, what, people do keep saying that. Imagine the class. Like, oh, yeah. really? Oh, really? They're going to save that one to the end? It that doesn't matter needed, what it is. That one needed the most help. Probably be the witch doctor. <laughs> you know, they're probably going to save it to the end because they don't know how to fix it. Like, it's so broken. <laughs> and I don't mean broken in a good way like the freaking Crusader or the damn uh, Archon Wizard. <laughs> it's it's broken in the worst way. <laughs> it needs... Like I said, all they got to do is make a monk belt for the witch doctor and it'll fix all the problems. Yeah, and fine. Like Kiroshiro's soul or whatever, it's going to be some other, you know, thing. Zumasi's, uh, or whatever. It wouldn't be Zumasi, but you know what I mean. Like Pox Fox belt or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. Like the soul of the Gargantuan or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, and uh, we'll see what comes down the pipe for for the classes and, you know, like the new items and all that stuff. I'm excited. You know, I, I have a, a feeling that they're going to drop all this on Tuesday, like right after we record. <laughs> and then we're going to be like, ah, shit. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah, we'll talk about it next week or week after. Whenever they do. Whoever, who knows? I figure it'd probably be next week or this week, whatever you want to, you know, because it's it's mid January now, so you know, it's getting yeah. that time. Uh, you got anything else? Blue notes, emails. We don't have any emails. Uh, you got anything else for anything else? Um, not really. Uh, you want to do the gin's lore corner? I always do it. Huh? I'll do it again with you. You want to do Jen's Lord Corner? Have at her. Huh? Have at her. Have at it. All right. Well, hell. Apparently, I have a friend, and her name's Jen. <laughs> and, you know, she does like this podcast. It's like, they call it Jen's Lord Corner. What? I know Gree. What? What Gree? What the hell are you talking about? Who's this Jen? Well, she's an amazing person who does a podcast all about, like, Diablo lore and the story and uh, you know it's like it's like you know you can get in bed and, and, and she'll whisper in your ears if you turn the volume down low enough um, and, you know like where can you find that at like bookagen.net that's where you can find that at it's all stories about Diablo it's great stuff you should check it out uh, other than that man patreon woohoo patreon.com slash soulstone come Waddle over and give us your ducks. Slither over us and give us your skins. 
Man, we in we are in desperate need of funding. I mean, look at that hat. It's over a year old. I know. This hat is old. It's faded. Look, it's like the R is white now. <laughs> it, it, it really needs a new hat. Like guys, come on, guys. Look at those glasses. They don't even glare no more. Yeah, these glasses <laughs> are old though. Yeah. Look at look at my beard. I could use some more length on it. Uh, probably shave it actually, but anyway. I didn't have any beard oil, so I just shaved it off. Yeah, like come on, like, yeah, you know, come on, guys, help us out. It's, uh, it's it just I don't know. It just makes us happy when you when you put money in that account. So appreciate it. Hey, and to those guys that are contributing, thank you very much. Um, we kind of hammered other media, but you want to do other media anyway? What do you mean we hammered other media? Well, I did. I don't know. I talked about other stuff. Yeah, you talked about a comedy club. I forgot. I forgot about this movie last week. I don't know why. It's like my fi- one of my favorite Jim Carrey movies. It came back on. Well, came to Netflix finally. Like I kept looking for it and looking for it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to pay to watch it, but I wanted it on like Netflix or Amazon or something. I'm like, ah, oh, it's not on any of these yet. And then it just, I just waited and waited, and then it popped up on Netflix for no reason. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. But Yes Man is on, it's on Netflix, and it is good. I love that movie. Like it's, it's one of my favorite Jim Carrey movies. I don't know if it's good as Liar Liar, but it's good. Yeah, Liar Liar is pretty good. I've watched that one, I don't know, like a couple months ago. I can't remember when I went, where I watched that, though. It was, uh, it was on either one of them or um, that other thing I had. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I watched that one, too. That was pretty good. Um, the... I seen a do movie on there and like I'm I thinking to myself, I don't remember a do movie coming out since The Rock. And I was like, I'll watch it anyway, you know, I like I'm an expert hurting like real bad this weekend. I was like, I'll just lay in bed and watch watch Doom. And this movie is like um it's like mo- the most accurate movie to that game that they ever made. Like it's, it's pretty neat. Um, like there's like more, there's like more zombie monsters in there than like anything, but it's, it's a pretty neat concept. It ends on like a cliffhanger, and there's like everything that you would think that would be in a Doom movie is in a Doom movie, like the chainsaw the the bfg like everything um yeah i i quite enjoyed it it's not it's not like an a-list movie but it's all right i'd watch it again um another thing i i started watching it's a pbs documentary (laughs) but um it's called Prohibition, and it goes over, obviously, Prohibition in America, and the, like started back in the 1800s, and other kinds of people that wanted to get rid of alcohol. It's a pretty good PBS series. Like I was watching the third episode before we came and did the show. They were talking about Al Capone and um, stuff like that, like during the Great Depression. They were trying to obviously get him on income tax charges. Um, I actually did. That's what they got him on. Yeah. But. Um, Died in Alcatraz. But other than that, that's that's been pretty much my other media. I, I, I really want to get ESPN Plus and watch the. 
Watch I next know. Saturday, man. I know, bro. I'm so, I'm so, look, bro. I'm so undecided on who I want to support because, man, I like Cerrone, right? But, I see. I seen the commercial that ESPN made that um, that Mc, it's McGregor's first fight on ESPN Plus or whatever, and you see him like dancing on the stage and stuff. It's like, man. Like I just I don't know. Everybody that I everybody that is talking about it is is saying that he is really focused. His camp went really good this time. He's right on target weight and he just looks like a freaking I don't know. I'm so like I said, I'm back and forth on it because man, I don't know if I want McGregor to win or if I want Cowboy to win. McGregor needs to win. Of course, Cowboy does, too. They said, Cow- they said Cowboy hasn't won, like... He lost s- a couple. Seven of his last eight or something like that? That doesn't seem right. No, he hasn't lost that many, has he? Hold on. Let's go to the Google. Google that, man. I don't think so. But, um... I didn't like the... The Megler Madoff um, interview. I watched that on on YouTube the other day. I didn't like that. He said that if Conor McGregor wants to fight him again, he has to fight and win 10, 10 more matches, and then he can fight Megler Madoff again. And I'm like, really? Uh, the reality of that is he doesn't... Um... Yeah, he's not the one that decides... He doesn't decide that. He needs to. He needs to worry about getting past um, one ex's name in April. Um, Tony Ferguson. Uh, See, they said everybody in the UFC out of everybody, Tony Ferguson's got the biggest, best shot of being. <laughs> what happened to Masvidal? I don't know. I guess Maz, like, um, Conor McGregor wants to fight him. Yeah, I know. Dude, he's 36-13. So I guess he has lost more than I thought. Cerrone? Yeah. I mean, McGregor has four losses. He didn't have that many fights, though. He has 25 fights. And Cerrone's 36-13. and 13, So that's what? a lot more. It's a lot more wasn't, fights. Wasn't Conor's last two fights, though, losses? <laughs> Yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't done great. And then uh, uh, I guess the one that doesn't count was the boxing match too that he did. That yeah. Make, I mean, he got paid, so that's like whatever, right? But uh, I'm trying to see if it says how many he's lost in the last. I know he's he's got some losses behind. Him. I like him. I mean. I don't know. Yeah, I watched a couple of his fights on um, on on YouTube. They were they were um there for a while. Good. He was like head kicking people like left and right. Yeah, like he the the one I watched is like it was the third round. The dude ducked or something, and he just he just kicked him right in the jaw. And like that dude just like boom dropped, and it was like out. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm um Yeah, I'm with you on the on the next Saturday thing. I I, I really I I it's going to be hard for me not to want to watch it, but I also don't want to pay that kind of money, so <sighs> I I probably going to stay away from all the news and then just watch it on Fight Pass when they I think it'll be like a couple weeks and then it come up on Fight Pass. Nah, it'll be on there. It'll be on YouTube the next morning, man. I yeah. guarantee it'll be on YouTube the next morning. Yeah. I I don't know. I'm really interested because I mean, they both got to both of them got to win really. It, to me, it's interesting that, that McGregor still wants to fight. 
I don't know. I guess $100 million didn't go that far anymore. I think that's for Legacy now. Yeah, but... I don't know. He was saying that... Um, he didn't. Uh, he didn't train for um, the dude. I can never say his name. Megalor Madoff. Yeah, that guy. He said he didn't train, and I don't know. That guy is. Um, I believe it. The way that the way that fight went, I believe he didn't train. <laughs> I. That's what, he said he didn't train, bro. I. He said he barely made weight because he didn't even. He wouldn't even really go to a training camp. He just was like messing around. Ah, uh, it's, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know when that guy's ever going to lose. Khabib, he Tony, is a. Tony Ferguson in April. <laughs> I don't know, bro. He ain't lost yet. I, I'm a big fan of his, man. His, his, uh, his wrestling is on another level. It is ridiculous. But, yeah, anyway, so, I don't know. I'm excited about next Saturday. Other than that, man, I've been listening to books. Just, um, really haven't even been watching nothing. I mean, I watched some little random stuff. I watched 21 again. Um, I think the movie's named 21. Count Cards movie? Yeah, yeah, the Kevin Spacey. Yeah. I know he's a toucher, but he's also a good actor. I don't care what he does. It has no effect on his acting. Yeah. It's... I don't care less what that dude does in his personal life. Yeah, I know. He's uh, he's got the naughty hand, but he, he sure can act. And let me tell you something, man. That House of Cards season, when they dropped him, was garbage. It was a hot, do- it was a hot dumpster fire. It was, not, it was not good at all. You, it, you can see... That he really made that whole show. I don't know if you ever watched House of Cards, but. Oh, shit. Speaking of Netflix series. I finished The Witcher. And man, the ending of that movie. Or that series. It's not a movie. Wow. Blown away. I cannot wait for season two and three. Uh, And four and five, I guess. Or whatever, but it's um, you. I cannot believe you haven't watched it yet. Like, what's wrong with you? I didn't play in the video games either. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's not shit. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't hunt down a Terminator either. You still watch Terminator? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, oh shit! Speaking of that, um, who's Dave and Buster's? And um, they got this big deal in the back that's like a virtual reality. And I've seen it a couple times, and I was like, I was like, ooh, we should do that. But it costs extra money, and you got to pay to play it. You know, you already paid money to play the games. Like, and you can't use that money that you already paid to use that. They want to charge you extra money, which is... Which I don't get, because I put $50 on a card. I'm running around swiping my card playing video games there at the Dave & Buster's. Why can't I swipe it and just take $6 off of the freaking card that I put 50 on? But I don't know, i got to get my stupid debit card out and pay him an extra 6 bucks. Me and my son did it. It cost 12 And... Um, I thought for 12 bucks, this damn thing better be pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it's a whole, like, you sit down and it's on, like, a hole where the seat goes back and forth and, you know, and all that stuff. And there was a bunch of different uh, scenarios. So they had Terminator, so I was like, sweet, let's do the Terminator. And um, so, in that one, you're, like, in a Jeep and you're running from the Terminator and he's trying to get you. I mean, you know, you've seen the movies. And, um, oh, she loads it up and, uh, you know, I get my headset on and of course I clean it all first, right? Cause you gross, right? So I cleaned it all up and, um, put it on and, 
it's like a strap thing you, you strap to your head. And, and when you put it on, it was really like the way it was set up, it was like so balanced that it wasn't like something that was like like heavy on your face or something. It was a really good system. And then they had these little ear deals that like went over your ears, kind of like not as big as these, but like, you know what I mean? Um, but they were really, really, really good noise counseling because I think somebody could have been screaming beside you and uh, you couldn't hear them. It was really, really good. And so I put my headset on and I get sit down and they got like a little controller that's, that's like this little, it's like a little stick with a little round thing on top of it. And then you got like a little trigger, you know. And uh, she, well, she loads it up and I get my headset on and I look down at my hand and I got a nine millimeter in my hand. And I mean, I'm like rotating it and looking at it. And I pointed it at my head and you can see down the barrel, you can see the grooves. You can see the rifling. on. The, I was like, holy shit. Uh, you could take your other hand and like, and like cock it. It was, dude, it was phenomenal. Like it, the, the, the graphics were unbelievable. I always, you know, like, like I've done virtual reality before, but like years ago and it was not good. It was, you know how it is. It's, it's, it's VR. It's not like these, it's not like nothing we're used to coming off of a computer. This was though, this, this was phenomenal graphics. Well, um, so, you know, my son's sitting right beside me, and I look over, and it's, you know, his character. So, you know what I got to do, right? Shoot him. I sure did. And the lady was pissed. Because <laughs> she had to reset the scenario. And she was all mad. Don't be shooting each other. Right, right. First thing you got to do is shoot people. Hey, look, I paid 12 bucks, and if I want to shoot my son in the head, I'm going to shoot him in the damn head, right? <laughs> Reset the damn button. I oh. mean, oh, my God, I'm so sorry you had to stretch out your index finger and press a button once. I'm surprised when you said I was sucking down the rifling of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Should have. <laughs> I never committed suicide. <laughs> The next time I play, I'm gonna shoot myself, bro. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if that bullet comes out of the chamber good. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was um, it was a phenomenal experience because they got like fans and wind and all that stuff, and it was it wasn't like it wasn't like you were staring at a screen playing a game. It was like you were in there. It, it was it was really really good. <sighs> I'm in some serious trouble if they ever get a home system that good, where I can sit in my recliner and I look up at my hand and it's like a sword or whatever the hell. They had Star Wars, but I don't know. I guess you could have used that little thing as a lightsaber, right? But I don't know. It was like Star Wars, Terminator, like Smash Bob, or I don't know, some other shit I never heard of, and then like some other blah, blah, blah. That, well, I was just like, Terminator, of course. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then I had the little minigun. I had a shotgun for a while. I didn't like the shotgun. The minigun, I did like that. I didn't enjoy the minigun, though. It was pretty. Anyway, damn, it was worth the 12 bucks. I just wish they would have let me... Utilize the money I already previously paid, so that was annoying. But the 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 only VR stuff that's looking promising right now, and that's Half Life Alex. Like that's Valve's making it, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, whatever happened to Magic Leap? Huh? You know, no, you know, no, you know anything about Magic Leap? Never heard of it. Magic Leap was like a whole system. They had their own headset. They had their own stuff. And I don't know. They just went away. It was supposed to be... First of all, the headset was like three or $4,000. I mean, it was stupid expensive. And I don't know. They just couldn't get investment. I don't know. It, it was supposed to be leagues above anybody else in the VR AR system 
and um, mm, it was like all these holograms and all this. And I guess they just went away because I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything at all from them in years, and they were just leaps and bounds ahead of every. They were the they were the like the the most technologically advanced uh, VR AR system. And you know, Apple is supposed to be coming out with it with an AR system that's supposed to just blow everything out of the competition. Which, when I read the story, it was like doted as like a, that's why we haven't made big strides in phone technology, because we're going to do this AR. Uh, And I guess it's through glasses. But my immediate reaction to that was, man, the Google glasses didn't work. What makes you think Apple glasses is going to work? I think Microsoft did that a couple years ago, too. Yeah, it just it just it was like the the who has Google glasses, you know what I mean? I don't know. I think that they think it's going to take off like the Apple Watch. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know if they even announce it this year September. I mean, you know, that's a long ways off. So maybe, right? But um I'm waiting for somebody to really get something that's nice that's affordable. I mean, like that Magic Leap, it looked awesome, but eh, who's going to spend four Gs on that? You know what I mean? That's a lot of money, man. I need a computer that can run it. Uh, I don't know. It was it was a standalone, I think. Oh. I don't think you don't you like you could take it outside, and like it was that kind of thing. I don't think it was any computer, and it wasn't like a giant pack you had to wear or something stupid, you know. I don't know. I don't think that they're... I'd have to look it up. Anyway. Uh, other than that, brother, I don't have anything else for the show. Do you? Um, nope. All right, bro. I'll let you... Uh, I'll just wave goodbye to our fans, and I'll let you close the show. Do, it, do your thing. You've been listening to episode 245 of the Shattered Soulstone, your Diablo community podcast. Missed an episode, you can find the show's blog and listen to the show archives at www.shatteredsoulstone.com. With your support, you can help the show grow. Become a Patreon today, patreon.com slash soulstone. Come join us in-game, our in-game community and clan, both named Shattered Soulstone, are open to anyone who would like to join. Um... You can also join us on Discord for the ultimate team and community-based experience. Find our Discord invitation link on our Twitter and our Facebook page, as well as the Shattered Soulstone website. Shows powered by you, the listener. Send your contributions, thoughts, questions, and feedback to show at ShatteredSoulstone.com. We love Twitter. Come join and tweet with us. You can find the show's Twitter at at ShatteredStone. Dead Greed at Dead Greed 1812, and you can find me at Shazam081. We would like to extend a huge thank you to Medros of Dawn Forge Productions for hosting our Loot Deviant show. You can find more shows from the Dawn Forge at www.thedawnforge.com. Thank you for listening. Until next time, from all of us. Here at the Shattered Soulstone, over 244 episodes for your listening pleasure. Come Dawn Forge. Forge.